What is going on guys? DBG here and it's about damn time lads We got him We got him lads The least enjoyable gaming experience ever The least enjoyable gaming experience ever That's the only way I can describe the last couple of hours I actually like I'm gonna make another video later today just about how my team is just such just a not Whatever about whether you want to say the game is good or bad, it is just not an enjoyable experience. Um, and a big thing with that is... Like, the S SPMM is a huge thing. So, basically, I played I played yesterday, and I won 10 games in a row. I lost my first game on Friday night. The guy was a demon. Like, Giannis at the... Or, LeBron at the 1, Giannis at 2, Thon at the 3. I think of the 12 games I played... I came up against maybe six lineups with that exact lineup. I came up against 12 Bill Russells. In the games I won, actually no, apart from one, every game I won was against Bill Russell. So I won 10 games in a row yesterday. I actually ball, I balled out yesterday. I balled out yesterday. I played so well. So then I started today and I lost the first game of the day I played by two points. The guy had a very, the, the guy had one of the best teams in the game. He had Ben Simmons, um, Porzingis, Bull Bull. Like his team was, like my team's, it's not even the team advantage. Like my team's almost as good. His team was a little bit better, but it was still one of the best teams in the game. SBMM, like every single team I played was like that. And I lost that game by two, fair enough. Like, look, the guy just beat me. Then I played another game against a guy who was a subscriber who had an almost identical team to that. Like best team in the game, almost. Basically, it was the best team before the opposition packs. So we didn't have LeBron or thing. And then I pulled off that win. I sweat in my ass off. I pulled off that win by like six points in the end. So then I'm like, whatever, I'm 11 and two. I'm all right. And in the next game, I come up against another team. LeBron, Giannis, Thon Maker, Porzingis, and Bill Russell. It gets into the second quarter. It's a tie game. I know it's going to go down to the wire. And I'm just not having fun. Like, I've sweat my ass off for a whole day. Of the 10 games I won in a row yesterday, almost all of them were close because 2K puts you in an SBMM bracket. So I'm sweating my ass off, like, genuinely stressing over a video game. And for hours, for about four hours yesterday, I'm genuinely stressing over the game because it's so hard. Because if I don't focus 100% and sweat my ass off, I lose every, I will lose every game. Like, I had to do that just to, just to just about win those 10 games in a row. I played so well. I played unbelievably well. Got those 10 wins. And then the other game, it gets to the second quarter, and it's a two-point game. I just quit. I, play, I go into another game, and it's against another, like, LeBron, LeBron, Giannis, Bill Russell team. And it's like, like, you can tell straight away into the settings, the guys just, well, I just quit the game. I just quit another game. So I quit five games in a row. And then what happens after I quit five games in a row? I obviously get matched up into a different bracket of SBMM because I'm on a bad losing streak. And I win the game by 97 points. So obviously, obviously, like I lost enough games and then I get put into these lower brackets of skill-based matchmaking and I play a game where I win my 97 points, the final game. Like literally, like, quit. Like I'm telling you, if you want to have any enjoyment playing this game, because a sweat game is fun when it's an occasional sweat game. If you are playing this game hours every day, if you are getting better and better at this game, you shouldn't only play against people at your level. That but like, yeah, it's just, it's just my team for you. There's no, there's no incentive to be, to get good at this game anymore. There's actually no incentive. But yeah, anyway, let's go and open the pack because this dude's a demon. This dude is, is he should be a demon. He should be worth it. Like, he should be one of the best cards in the game. If he's not, I will be very disappointed. But he should be one of the best cards in the game. So we got our free Dark Matter here anyway. Oh, I can't believe I okay, I, I actually played Unlimited. In fairness, like whatever. I was doing well. I was doing well when I went when I went 10, 10 games in a row, I was playing quite well. But like if I see another Larry John oh, to be fair, a bunch of Larry Johnson teams, but if I see another LeBron James, yeah. Basically, the team that I ran earlier today, like, if I see another 5 million MT squad, and I play them in 60% of my games, no way. No way. 
are fit to 50% of the players that play this game have that um that squad. But anyway, at least I can finally get rid of Robert Reed. He balled out for me though. He really balled out for me. Okay, so we got TJ Warren, who's now gonna be our starting two guard. Mikhail Bridges is moving to the bench. 6'8, 51 halves. 14 gold. So again, he's got like 65 total badges. He has got break starter, dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, heart crusher, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer, back down puncher. He's got half blinders, which is huge. He's got circus threes, deep threes, so range extender, and pluckable, flexible if you're on current gen, as well as 14 gold badges. He has got a 92 post to fade away, doesn't really matter. 95 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 93 ball handle, 93 steal, 95 block, 94 perimeter defense, 93 interior defense, 95 speed, two ball acceleration, 94 lateral quickness. So he's got the stats and the badges to be a great, great card. So let's just see, just honestly, if his release and stuff is good, okay, this is TJ Warren. Oh, he's at a long wingspan. Yeah, that's good. I like that release. It is not worth the stress, by the way. It like I will say is right now. I did this for a con for a video. One hundred percent not worth the stress. Like I gotta go and play. It's seven p.m. right now. I think I'm five games in in limited, so I have to play another seven limited games, and I think I got like seventeen triple tried online games to play. Cause I'm gonna get the four of these cards. I have a couple of hours to do that, honestly. And I gotta make my Muggsy Mayhem series, or say Muggsy's Mission series. Um. Not a too big a deal anyway. Because I can just, while editing Muggsy's mission, I can obviously um, play those limited games because I don't care about winning them. But yeah, this card here seems nice. Pro 3. Yeah, he's got the he's got the good dunk packages as well. He kind of feels like Nick Batum. In, the, way, the way Nick Batum moves is the way TJ Warren moves. Kind of reminds me of Nick Batum. I will say, Larry Bird going to the basket. He does not go to the basket as well as I would like. Quick dribble style is so much better than Shifty, in my opinion. But, uh... Yeah, basically, Warren looks nice. Yeah, Warren looks really, really good, lads. This should be one of the best two guys in the game. So, anyway, now it's game three. Now let's get on to the game. But, like, if you're comparing, like, this TJ Warren to Paul Millsap back when Paul Millsap came out... I mean, I think it's a close one. I think it's a close one because obviously six weeks ago, Millsap was god tier. But like this could be the best two guard in the game. If you're on this gen, it really could. And then we got to eat into our triple chat online um, quota. We got to go and get a win here. Because man, the more, the quicker we have. So I have 15 games of this. That's at least an hour and 10 minutes realistically. And then I got another about three hours left of just sitting there not playing limited. So, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be stress. It's going to be stressful. All right, goat heart or dark matter hard. It's interesting water steel there by TJ Warren. It's open. Green that. We blew it, but it's a big white right there for TJ Warren. What the hell is that? Are you really gonna be out here spending that? It's freaking. That's probably Invincible Kobe. That's like, I'm, I probably, is that Invincible Kobe? Box score. Yeah. Dude's out here using invinc two Invincible cards and he's taking these shots. Green that. That's a front contest. That's just done by me. Okay, we're good. That's spamming on defense. Let's go. Get him on our side. It's green. We blew that! Come on, that's... It's not good by me. There we go. We finally green another one. What takes you? Okay, sharp take, thankfully. There's been a lot of players that have been getting locked take recently. And like a lot of good... Fair enough, he's invincible, I guess. A lot of good players I'm getting lock take. It's open. Green. Man, I am in struggle town. And he's gone! You know what? It's an easy quick win. Let's go and play one more. Let's go and play one more. He is a god, though. As my phone... 
my phone is literally just not five notifications every minute. Man, this Hito Turkaloo TikTok video is banging. 136k views in a day? Oh. 136k views in a day. On a Hito Turkaloo video. 23,000 likes. 23,000. What? 23,000? That's more views than I get in a YouTube video. That's more views than I even used to get on my Hedo videos. How is how have I had more views on a TikTok in one day than I have had on any video on YouTube all year? I guess DBG TikTok is a thing now, I guess. All right, let's go. Weber? Okay, it's fine. I can press up high. Because we've got a safety net on leaving, which is leaving him open. And he is shooting. If you hit with him, you hit with him. Green. Oh, it's a slightly. Big white. Let's go. Man, I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know what is going on right now, but it's just quit. It's just a quit every single game. It is just a quit every single game, lads. All right, he's on Christian Wood. Good bump. Oh wait, he needs his three dunks. He needs his three dunks. If he wants to get his dunks, I'll give him his dunks. No, he's not looking for the dunks. He's just looking to win. He's just looking to win. Okay, we're good. It's fine. Give me that green. That's a blinder shot if I've ever seen one. That's what half blinders does. Good shot. That's just bad luck. It's mad that if you don't hold circle or hold like call for screen, like that pass gets stripped stolen every single time. Mash. Give me that. How did I miss that layup? I don't know how I missed that one there. Like, I get it. It wasn't a standing dunk territory. He's not a center. But still, I did a good job mashing right there. Uh, no. Don't shoot that. That's not the shot to shoot either. I should have passed it out. It's fine. Now we get the board. Uh, rim run. Jam it. There we go. Good job there by Warren. I right, good start right here. It's out of bounds. Oh, unlucky. It's fine. He goes to it. That's a bad shot. I think he accidentally tried to curry. Or he tried to curry and accidentally shot. And then didn't have stick aiming on. Oh, failed attempt at a quick stop. Oh, that's done by me. Dive. Good defense, or good offense by him. How is it not a steal? He's dribbled through my body. Should have the dunk, yeah. Oh, if we didn't go for quick stop and we take an extra split second, that last possession, we had a wide open three. So he got completely creamed on that screen. That's open. Blinders. It's my fault. You know, I have to shoot this one if he, if he gets it open. Green that. Man, I'm in struggle town right now. I will say his release is really good. I'm just struggling with it. Toss corner. I know you want to pass it. I know you want a dot corner. Or a dot wing. Terrible shot. Be bored, TJ Warren. Blinders. There we go. It's a wide open. I don't know. I thought he was going to actually get a side contest on that. Come on. Score here would be nice. Blinders. Leaner, let's go. Big shot there. Did I mean to shoot that? I meant the quick stop. And again, I need to get better at it. Like, I know how to do it. I'm just so inconsistent with it.
That's a fade again. Unfortunately, we can't uh, can't get the quick stop. Off. Okay, that's fine. 14-4 up. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, shoot that. Did I really miss that? That's my bad. Oh, green that. That's a blinders. That's a side contest, isn't it? And they go missed that one. Let's just end this one quick. Let's end this one quick. This game's taking way too long. That's a frontal contest. And that's a steal. Mick, don't be dumb. Just run to the basket and dunk it on them. Dude, just your 79 down. Just put the ball, throw the ball up and miss or make it. I don't even care. Just shoot. I'm going to go for dunks. I oh, screw a fade. There we go. We're just hitting wides, but that seems to be working here. At least at the end of this video, we have three wins towards our uh, triple chat online goal of Buddy Heels. Green that game. Oh my god. I suck. I suck. He's like even letting me shoot and I can't make shots. I genuinely suck. You just shoot it. He stopped. He stopped even giving up. He think he thinks he can win. He probably can. Oh my god! I'm so bad at this game. This card's class, though. This card's class. I just suck. So anyway, that is the video. TJ Warren, fantastic. Not worth the stress, though. Not worth the stress. Nothing is worth the stress playing unlimited. But he's a great card. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's robbing. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's